Hello friends, thanks for tuning in to this week's marketing message. I was at a group meeting this morning. Boy, that sounds like <laughs> an AA meeting. No, it was at a peer advisory group meeting this morning and we were talking about mentions on LinkedIn and a lot of the people in the room weren't clear on how you mention someone when you're doing a status update on LinkedIn or a comment on LinkedIn. So this week, I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, to start the process of mentioning somebody on LinkedIn, you're probably gonna be in LinkedIn and either commenting on somebody's status update or starting your own post. So let's say for this example, that here's the Straub construction update. Made it to a Sunday service at Journey Church International and this community is bursting with life. Awesome update, that's a cool picture. Lots of pictures showing off what Straub construction can do here in town. And so there's lots of comments and things like that, but let's say I go ahead and click on comment and I can add a comment. I could say, congratulations, and then if I wanted Parker, who's a really good friend of mine um, at Straub, if I wanted Parker to know I saw this update, I could start by typing the at sign, and then start typing his name, Parker, and he'll come up, and then if you select him, it turns this into a special kind of link. Parker Young is now a tagged person on this update. Congratulations, Parker Young and the rest of the team at Straub for doing purposeful, good spelling, work. And I could click post. Um, and that is as simple as it is to mention somebody. And here's what happens on his side. He'll get an email from LinkedIn saying, Jason Terry mentioned you on LinkedIn and it'll have a link to the post where I mentioned him. So if you're trying to get somebody's attention because you see something on LinkedIn that's something you want to compliment somebody on or let somebody else know like an event's coming up or there's this cool thing to learn about or whatever you can mention somebody to make it even more um uh approachable uh instead of saying congratulations parker young a lot of people don't know that you can put the cursor right here at the end of the young and backspace and it'll get rid of the last name but parker is still a true mention so it'll, it'll say, congratulations, Parker, and the rest of the, of the team at Straub for doing purposeful work. And I hit post on that. That's how you do a mention. So let me go back up to the top and start just, uh, just to show you another quick example of how to do one of these. You can click start a post. So just start your own post. And you could say, um, I was meeting with, for example, Ken Bramble. Good friend, business dude. We're in a peer group together. I was meeting with, click, Ken Bramble. For coffee this morning and we were talking about him doing more video work he's gonna love me for this being in my video oh my gosh he's already he's holding his head in his hands right now anyway so uh i actually on that one would want to have ken bramble so i'd still i'd still put the whole ken bramble on that because other people might not know which ken that i'm talking about so i would do uh at ken bramble right? Boom. I'd leave his full name on this one. So I was meeting with Ken Bramble for coffee this morning and we're talking about him doing more video work. <laughs> so anyway, that's how you mention somebody in your own status update that you're creating from scratch. If you're wanting them to see the status update so they can either come in. So for example, I'm speaking at the young, uh, young professional, uh, group, I think next month. No, it's in, yeah, in February. And what they did as the organizers, they said, hey, um, looking forward to Jason Terry to come present LinkedIn to the YPA group. And I, and they mentioned me by tagging me like this. And so that brought me as the presenter in to look at the LinkedIn update and then engage. So I commented and said, looking forward to working with you guys and meeting a bunch of great people at this YPA event. So anyway, that's why mentions matter. And I wanted to show you that thing where you can shorten it to just their first name if you're trying to be a little bit more personal with that. And that is how you do a mention on LinkedIn and why it matters, because they get notified when you mention them on LinkedIn. Well, I hope that was helpful. If you didn't know how to do mentions on LinkedIn, you do now. And if you did find this helpful, please consider sharing that with a friend. Throw this email out there or however you saw this, share it from YouTube. Throw that out there to somebody you think that could benefit from the stuff that I put out every single week. Thanks again for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you next week.